everyone, King's Fall just launched and my team was able to find the guaranteed red border weapon chest from this raid. Just like how Vow with a Disciple had a special puzzle that you could solve and it would give you a guaranteed deep sight weapon, King's Fall has literally the exact same thing uh, with a slightly different puzzle. So we're going to go over that. This requires you to find three out of, we think, nine runes within the raid. And so they're going to be spread throughout just like the runes were in Vow of the Disciple. So, how do you know which of the three runes you need to find? Load in into the raid, and right at the beginning, before you start anything, go underneath what was the Court of Oryx. Here you will see three symbols, and these are the three symbols that correspond to the three runes that you have to find. Now, you need to make sure that you only shoot and activate these three symbols, and if you activate any of the other symbols, you will need to disable them, or else you will not be able to complete this secret puzzle. Now, there are nine total runes, like I mentioned. You can see all nine of them on screen. They are labeled in order. Now, it's hard to say, you know, everyone has different names for these. Like, some people call four turret, for example. So, instead of that, I'm going to label them in order that you find them within the raid. And you can scrub along the timeline on the bottom of this video or find the pinned comment to go right to the three that you need for your run. So the first one is going to be in the initial like pendulum jump puzzles right after you do the initial encounter of the raid. As soon as you jump on the first pendulum, turn around and you will get symbol number one. The second symbol is going to be in the first secret chest. So this is in the like hive tomb ship jump puzzle. This is where your first secret chest of this is. It's the same as it was in Destiny 1. But once you get to the first secret chest, turn around and you will see this symbol above the doorway. The third one is going to be within the totems encounter. Go ahead and complete the encounter. Then inside of the left room, jump exactly where I do and you can see symbol number three. The fourth one is going to be on the very top floor of the War Priest encounter. On the top right, there's this kind of staircase that goes to this ledge. You can see it sitting there very plainly. Next, you're going to go on throughout the maze. And at the very end of the maze, there will be a final hole. Jump over the hole, turn around, and you will find symbol number five. Then go into the Golgoroth encounter, jump down and look beneath the lower left ledge where most people used to do the one orb strategy. That's where you're going to find symbol number six. The seventh symbol is in the dick wall jump puzzle directly next to the second secret chest from Destiny 1, or I guess kind of the third, but the second one in jump puzzles. Then at the very end of the dick wall jump puzzle, you will find symbol number eight, uh, kind of on the roof, right where you are standing. And then the ninth and final, we believe, rune is going to be right above the doorway as soon as you get into the sisters and orcs encounter. So you can turn around and get that. When you find all three runes that correspond to the ones that you were supposed to find, you will see the text in the chat, the runes accept your offering. And then when you kill orcs, you will find your guaranteed red border chest. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure to share it with your friends to help everyone craft their raid weapons as quickly as possible. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like rating and subscribe for more awesome Destiny 2 videos and live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching today and I'll see you in my next video.